okay this chemical pesticide um creates a lot of issues that is why we are using bio pesticide in the same way chemical fertilizers spoils the soil nature uh, and not allowing the other beneficial microorganism to grow properly so there is a reason why we are using microorganism itself as a bio fertilizer we are using the beneficial plant itself as a bio fertilizer step by step we will discuss in detail in the bio fertilizer what we need to understand basically the beneficial microorganisms like nitrogen fixing bacteria like nitrosomonas nitrococcus pseudomonas all these are all the beneficial nitrogen fixing bacteria which is grown in the massive level and then it is applied to the soil for helping the nitrogen fixation in the soil as nitrite and nitrate so then what will happen is the plenty of uh, nutrients level goes up in the soil and that soil rich in uh, nutrients will help the microbes to grow very nicely right now we are coming for the uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria as i already told to you uh, which we are growing at the massive level right now fungal association the beneficial fungus like mycorrhiza uh, which is growing along with the uh, is growing along with the plant uh, glomus okay here this mycorrhiza uh, which is responsible for making the proper nutrient absorption to happen more appropriately so we know very well this uh, mycorrhiza is growing in a branched way and spreads and spreads over the plant glomus and this particular uh, branched mycorrhiza increases surface area of mineral absorption iron absorption fertilizers absorption etc now we are entering into important concept of, uh, not only we are using cyanobacteria we know very well cyanobacteria is a nitrogen fixing um, eubacteria which is having the potential to grow very aggressively um, you know very well some of the cyanobacteria are nostag anabena and oseritoria this cyanobacteria uh, which is used as bio fertilizers right uh, here you know very well in the paddy field we are using blue green algae also to increase the soil fertility right blue green algae itself we are using as a fertilizer in the soil that increases the soil fertility quality again back i am repeating soil fertility quality we are increasing by using blue green algae right so nostag anabena and oseritoria are the cyanobacteria which are growing at the massive level to uh, support the to support the nitrogen fixation process right so this anabena nostag oseritoria we can grow in the ditch water we can grow in the waste water very easily okay without any type of massive human labor um, cost so these bio fertilizers uh, whatever we are preparing that we are using in the soil and then we are making plenty of nutrients out of this bio fertilizer <coughs> right so these are the important things we need to understand right any one of you are having any doubt in this junction please let me know i am there with you to help you out in the bio fertilizers so before okay in the next class we are going to see the biotechnology in meanwhile we'll see the worked examples the bio, whenever they are asking the role of microbes we need to give one example rhizobium example we given very nicely and then after rhizobium example what we need to give is basically we need to say how the rhizobium works and because of this work performance how the application is extracted everything we need to bring it answer example an explanation for the example should be narrated now we are coming for the next important point is discuss the advantage of using bio fertilizer in agriculture over chemical fertilizer we know very well chemical fertilizer creating the soil pollution chemical fertilizer not allows beneficial microbe to grow whereas the bio fertilizers makes the microbes to grow very nicely right so this is the way we need to remember in our mind explain the concept of symbiotic association for that we need to give the example mycorrhiza right okay and then i told already how the growth is supporting the symbiotic association 
this way your narration should be explained in the uh, exam.